I wish, wish everybody, everybody a happy, happy Easter. Easter. From Billy, Billy and Joe. And Joe. Okay. This is Danny. And Teresa. We just want to wish everybody Everyone a happy, happy Easter. Easter. Happy Easter to you all. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, here we are. Curly, Lay, and Mo. Three dummies. At least why I'm the one in charge. So, bah. Oh, goodness. Anyway. Hey, everybody. We want to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Spread out. I feel like a sardine now. You'd be more of a minnow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's it. He's out of the video. Can you move it over this way? <laughs> all right. Uh, first of all, I'm going to read a question. Cause we're going to answer a couple of questions here. Couple. And I'm going to read them. Uh, you know, I, I forget the words if I don't. And, uh, I'm going to read these suckers, and I'm going to start right now. And the first one is, what is the first one? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's right there. Read this first. <laughs> what was the big infatuation with Elvis and flashlights? Well, who who asked that question? The only time he ever used them was in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> but who asked that question? It had to be a woman to ask had, that question. Had, uh, it's Road Glider. She asked the question here. Uh, had, any man knows what to. Me and see, I mean, you gotta have flashlights. I, how many flashlights you got? You don't have to. I ain't got none. I don't have any. <laughs> see, that's my point. Yeah, I got I'm a man, it. so I've got several oh. flashlights. Danny, on the other now, hand, who ever told you that? What? Somebody lied to you. But I ain't got several flashlights. No, that you're a man. Well, I'll be honest with you. I got flashlights. <laughs> Hell, every man but has anyway, to have a flashlight. Yeah, let's, let's get to, to to the question here. Well. well Started off with just a walking cane. He used that quite a lot. And uh, then he started getting a flashlight. And uh, Excuse me. And then they, uh, uh, it kind of progressed. They, they started coming out with the longer flashlights and like the policemen use. And, uh, did he use that as a walking cane, the longer flashlights? Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. And, uh, he hobbled along. With that flashlight, you know. Uh, anyway, he got he got infatuated with them because of the policemen using them that hard, and you know you could use them as a weapon, you know. Back in them days. Back, yeah. Well, you still could, you know. Yeah. Uh, you had the flashlight, uh, but uh, that that's where that started and, and all, and uh, he carried one with him everywhere. A lot of it too was when he'd go to the movie. Uh, he'd rent a rent a movie out and all. He would go down through that, and uh, you know, it was pretty dark. And I think he bumped into maybe the the chairs or aisles a couple of times. And so he started carrying his flashlight, and that way he could see and and help uh, you know whoever was with him. And uh, he never got over his usher days. So he was an usher. He was a <laughs> he was. teenager. I know. And, and uh, I think, you know, they had flashlights back in. Believe it or not, they actually did. And, you know, he, he in fact, he ushered me to my chair, I don't know how many times. Uh, me and Joe, and then he'd go get somebody else. And the time we got around to the movie is daylight. <laughs> now, it's, it's just all a made-up story. But, yeah, he would use a flashlight to, to go down to where he... He was set no. That was a good question. We appreciate it. Yeah, that was a good question. I wish we had another one. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, let's see. What was my duties with Elvis? Well, somebody asked that question uh, to another of Elvis's cousins, Gene, who was, you know, Gene and Elvis were pretty tight back in the uh, 50s and early 60s. And uh, he asked him, he said, you know, just what do you do for Elvis? Kind of in a smart way. And uh, my cousin looked at him. He said, well, he said, let me put it like this. I'm Elvis's cousin. I don't do a damn thing. <laughs> so, uh, but now my, my duties were uh, whatever he... Water, 
whatever. Basically, just yeah. being with him. Companionship. Uh, that's what that's what he wanted. Uh, you know that way. Uh, I was there, and uh, he like he just loved my little silly face, and he kept me around because I, I think I reminded him of Scatter. I, I <laughs> don't know. But I often wondered that because he got rid of the monkey and kept me. <laughs> no, but uh, that was basically really my duty. Sometimes I'd help with the luggage and, you and didn't stuff drink like as that. You didn't drink monkey, huh? Uh, 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 sock. But, uh, yeah, I carried his, uh, his makeup case. case and stuff like that for him. Woke him up. Uh, uh, he actually really didn't want anybody to wake him up on tour except for me. And... Uh, uh, unless, you know, uh, back when Linda was there, you know, I, she she usually woke up and was awake. She'd wake him up. But things like that. And, and while you're doing it, touch on it. Tell him why, because it's been a lot around about Elvis, but he he didn't like to be surprised woke up or, or, no, or, no, no, that or jump in on him or anything like that. I mean, because that's right. You know. If you... Woke him up the wrong way, you liable to get smacked pretty good, you know. I mean that had or happened. Uh, yeah, done. that too. Uh, no, he he, uh, he didn't like to be. He, a certain way you wanted to to wake him up, and usually it was, you know, I'd lay down, you know, fairly close, and and I'd say Elvis, real real light. He never, you know, blurred it out, and I'd say that maybe two or three times, and then I just barely touch him. That, that usually woke him up. Uh, he was a uh, pretty light sleeper. So, and that was my way of waking him up. And uh, then I'd get him dressed and uh, put his jumpsuit on him and <laughs> uh, get him into shaking. <laughs> You're making me call. No. no. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was, I'm just carrying on yeah. my crap. That was, that was another good question, though. It, it was. Uh, uh, let me see who who asked it. I, I I just totally forgot who asked it. Somebody did. I know if I can find it, you have to excuse me. I'm not being rude. I just can't remember. You know, I have to find them here. Uh, it's not on that page. Is it over here? Yeah, here it is. Uh, Michael, Michael Van. Warren, I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, if I'm not, Michael, you know, when you see me, you can correct me. Warren, uh, just, just don't slap me, hold you. Just. <laughs> but, yeah, that's who asked that one. And uh, well, any time y'all want to jump in, uh, you know. We oh, tried two or three times. You told us to be quiet. I, I'm talking about oh. jump in something. <laughs> I, get out of my hair. We're talking okay. about the lake. <laughs> <laughs> the lake would be <laughs> Jump in. Get out of his hair. Okay, anything y'all want to. Uh, say or do or what? Now you've hurt my feelings. Uh, well, I hate it. I, I'm so sorry. Well, we I, had I to, wish I hadn't hurt your feelings. Or yours either. Oh, right? mine, I, mine feelings don't get hurt. I was they just don't. looking. We had. Well, let's see. <laughs> Uh, I, well, I had a question uh, come in. Uh, you did? Yeah, that asked me. Well, who, who brought it in? I, I, I don't know, no. and I apologize for that, but I remember uh, seeing it. I think it, it come in on Facebook on Messenger or something. Uh, they were her, and I believe it was her sister or cousin, correct, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but I, I didn't get the question, of exactly where they was in the argument between, was it the attic to Graceland by yeah. Elvis's door, or was it more down toward Lisa's door? Well, let me see if I can uh, help out a little bit here. When you went up the stairs, you turned, and come in the, the front door, you went up the stairs, you turned, to the right, you went up another flight of stairs. When you got to the top of that, there was two big leather doors, which led into Elvis's office and his bedroom. Just on the other side, facing Elvis's bathroom, right there on the left-hand side, there was a door. Now that door went up to the attic, which covered all the other rooms and everything else. Big attic, big attic. Uh, if you went upstairs and you took a right and you went down the hall, at the end of the hall was a linen uh, closet. And that was a door. So I think a lot of people probably 
uh, got that, you know, mixed up, maybe confused thought. and maybe thought that went up to the attic. But, Pre yeah. Appreciate that question, and we hope we got it answered. And to to end this thing, I, Mama was talking a while ago and touched a little bit on it since it's Easter uh, of, a, of a story of, of what she was telling about what they mailed y'all. Y'all not, yeah, yeah, sure did, yeah. Uh, used to, I mean, boy, <laughs> golly, he, we used to get packages, uh, uh, God, decorated, you know, packages, big packages, little packages, uh, all Easter <laughs> decoration wraps and all that stuff, and golly, you did get off and come up and. It was on Perugia Way. It was on, yeah, on Perugia Way, boy, and uh, you'd open them up, it'd be in saran wrap and foam and everything else, you know, and you'd pull one out and it'd be, it'd be a uh, Easter egg, you know. Well, what was funny about the whole dadgum thing was that we accumulated several, several boxes. And that's what, uh, that's what in Tice just to start opening them, cause it got the steak in it. We <laughs> and and I think Joe was one of the ones that said, "Man, we 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 something ain't right. Some smells." So we decided we'd open one of them, and that's what it was. Was eggs, real boiled eggs. Old eggs. Old eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Mm. Uh, it took us a while Ooh. to open up. They were decorated so pretty, but yeah. they smelled so bad. I lost my breath too. <laughs> one outside, you know, and gas before. And no, it, it was. It, it did, and they they met well, you know, and they were pretty boy. They you know they decorate them things up. Well, they would have been nice if you had to open them early, but the postman they had so many piled yeah. up in the front at the front door. Mm -hmm. Just you know, you know, you and then got rather ripe. Time they uh, got to where they were going and us opening them, uh, and of course uh, we had to get Elvis's permission to open them because you know it was his mail; it wasn't ours. <laughs> oh, so you well, know, that, that that's a federal law. You go and open somebody <laughs> else's mail. <laughs> but we all want to say, hey, we we appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, <laughs> Hey, keep watching. Those of you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And Joey, do y'all have any any shout outs? Yeah, I got a shout out. I really do. I don't. <laughs> this is to Arkansas Dave. We're gonna shout out uh, this time, and uh, uh, we only give one shout out per person. And you've had yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, but, uh, no, really, uh, yeah, we do, and we, we appreciate it. I do want to say, uh, Nancy, Tashecki, hey, we appreciate you. Appreciate you watching, and and, and I, I know you've, you've uh, ordered a lot of merchandise. We really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy each and every bit of it. And, uh, Joey, you got Steve McCarthy. Hey, he's been feeling a little bit up under the weather. Yes. We, uh, yeah. We're praying for you. We're thinking about you. Hope you feel better, Steve. Uh, yeah, love okay. you, man. Yeah, love you. And, you know, st of course, Steve's a good friend of mine who stays in touch with us all the time. Yes. Uh, other than that. Now, Steve, I like you. No. <laughs> you know, I love you. With that being said, Joe, hey, hey, we'll have you another video coming next week. We love each and every one of y'all. Happy Easter. And what do we always say? We, we always, always live, live Elvis. Elvis.